Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to fix squeaking brakes. I'll be going over six easy ways that you can fix your squeaking brakes. If you're driving down the road and you hear your brakes squeak, it can be something that really just sends shivers down your spine and there are things that you can do to fix them. So let's go over all six of these methods. Method number one is to replace the actual brake pads. Now on your brake pads, in your brake pads, I should say, there are these what are called wear indicators. Now these wear indicators are very simply little pieces of metal that when your brake pad wears down enough, the metal ends up touching the rotor and makes a screeching sound. So if you notice that, you know, as soon as you start hit your brakes and you know, as soon as you hit your brakes, you hear that little squeaking sound um, and it persists the entire time that you push down the brake pedal and you're basically in need of new brake pads anyways, look into it. If your wear indicator is out there, is showing, then you should replace the brake pads. It's as simple as that. So look into it, okay? Uh, number two, the second way to fix squeaking brakes is to clean them with brake cleaner spray. Brake cleaner spray is something that you can get at your local auto parts store. It's pretty easy to use. I mean, I've used it before. You can take the brakes off and use it to clean or uh, something that I did that worked for me was I just sprayed it on the brakes, the brake cleaner spray. I sprayed it on the brakes themselves and I basically just drove for 10 or 15 minutes and the noise went away and that's because they were dirty. So what happens is, you know, when dirt and debris build up on those brakes, um, if you use brake cleaner spray, spray that might uh, allow it to loosen up the dirt and debris and get rid of it um, and once you drive for a little bit the squeaking might go away that's another option okay number three the third method is to drive the car until the debris is simply gone sometimes there's like a rock caught in some part of the brake assembly or a heavy piece of dirt or a tiny 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 little piece of debris that you know sort of jumped up from the road um, that sort of you know lifted up from the road as you were driving you know your tire lifted it up and went into one of your brake uh, parts of the brake assembly if you just drive sometimes the, the the sound will stop sometimes it could even be rust built up on the brake uh, on the brake rotors if last night it snowed or it rained you know there might be a little bit of rust from the uh, from the dew uh, from the moisture that is built up and if you drive it'll go away right so I mean you know just sometimes just driving will work Moving forward to number four, the fourth thing that you can do is check for loose parts. So sometimes, and there are many parts within a brake system and a brake assembly, sometimes there will be some parts that come loose. So look for some loose parts because if a part is loose and it vibrates, what it's going to do is it's going to cause a squeaking sound. The faster that it vibrates, the more serious that the squeaking sound will sound, right? So look for loose parts. Um, if you know what you're doing, maybe touch the brakes and see if there's any loose parts. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch them. Just look. But if you know what you're doing, if you know your way around your car and your brakes, then touch the braking components to see if you can find any loose parts. Number five, the fifth thing that you can do is look for damaged shims or clips. Now, there are shims and clips and basically they prevent the pad from moving within the actual caliper assembly. If those shims or clips break or become worn down or worn out, um, or they're just not functioning properly, they're not in the right place, then what happens is, you know, you can get a squeaking sound because things aren't being held in place properly. So just check for damaged or broken or malfunctioning or misplaced or, you know, ones that aren't there, shims or clips. Last but not least is number six, um, the sixth method. This is probably the most unknown one, and that's to just use a different brake pad. Now. Brake pads are made with a variety of materials. You can get different brake pads. And oftentimes, a lot of the cheaper brake pads, they'll be made with cheaper materials. Those cheaper materials are gonna be heavier in metal content, and they're gonna be more likely to produce a screeching or a squeaking sound um, while you're driving. So with that being said, look into, if you, if you just replace your brake pads, and all of a sudden you hear a squeak, uh, squeaking or a screeching, you know, it doesn't mean that it's the brake pads for sure, but look into it, it might be the brake pads. Maybe it was the installation, but maybe it's the brake pads themselves. And that's it. 
In this video, I've gone over how to fix squeaking brakes. I've outlined six easy ways that you can fix squeaking brakes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.